Hi friends, good morning and good morning from MacLeod Gunj. Uh, so we have Mr. Namgyal today and very glad to hear from him so many experiences, struggles, uh, how they have suffered in India during that uh, last mid of last century especially. First of all, thanks a lot uh, Mr. Namgyal. Uh, so, I just would like to ask you to introduce yourself uh, first, uh, if you don't mind. Sure, sure. Well, my full name is uh, Hindu Namgyal and uh, yeah, I am born and brought up in India itself. But yeah, my, in fact, my father and my mother, they also were born in India, but my grandfather, they were from Tibet. Uh, so they. They left from Tibet in 1959. Okay. Yeah. So I'm studying. Uh, my my born. I was born in Shimla, basically. So I studied in uh, uh, Masuri. So my other time was studying. Okay. So as you mentioned that your grandparents have moved in 1959 to Nepal. Yeah. So uh, during those days, the great escape was happening yeah. in the different routes. Mm -hmm. uh, when they, all of them have not followed the same routes mm -hmm. while coming uh, from the day. True. So which routes your grandparents uh, has, has chosen and what are the experiences they have suffered, uh, mm -hmm. suffered during the exile? Mm -hmm. Well, my, I used to mm, listen to stories from my grandfather. Um, how they, they have came, but well, some of them I've forgotten now, but yeah, if I could remember, they have fled, uh, they have took the same route, I guess, which Dalai Lama has taken, um, they have uh, entered the border from Tawang district, and uh, once they reach in India, so they, they uh, I used to hear him like saying, um, Gorakhpur. So, so from all the way from Gorakhpur, they they ride on a train and uh, and then uh, they lived in Delhi for some for some time and just because of the heat and everything, so they couldn't uh, be like more acclimatized in Delhi. So they moved to Himachal Pradesh, I guess. So ever since then, uh, they were living in Himachal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how was the initial days? It was it was really a hard time for 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 all of the Tibetans, not only my grandfather and grandmother, just because like we are you know, being in the high altitude. Of course, like yeah, in Himachal is, is also considered to be the high, um, just just being in Himalayan region. But um, when we came first, uh, to, I mean all the way through Delhi and you know, everything, yeah, as compared to Tibet, uh, we are feeling experiencing more heat over here in India so many of the Tibetans they suffered um, and just because of heat and they, they lost their life as well I mean yeah malaria and everything which we heard for the first time and in Tibet uh, since I've, I've never been in Tibet but I know that uh, you know you won't find any uh, mosquitoes there not even like uh, the rest of the diseases common diseases which you find in in any part of the other, other part of the country, but uh, yes, and and then uh, just because of the, the the Indian people and the government of India, I mean, um, and His Holiness has requested like uh, if if it is possible, just move us uh, somewhere to the higher altitude, so then um, we can acclimatize our body according to that. So most of the uh, most of our ancestors they moved to um, the Him Himalayan region. Some of them has went to Manali, and if you have noticed, like the Rostaran Pass and everything, those roads has been, you know, uh, been made by our Tibetan ancestors. I mean, yeah, of course, uh, if, if if you go to up towards the mountains, we need to do, to do something to feed ourselves, and it's uh, all thanks to the Indian people. I mean, yeah, we got a job as well, and yeah, the, a, a better place to live rather than the the, 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 the lower plain the areas of uh, in India. So yeah, we suffered a lot, but I mean, the road construction and everything, you know, the, the explosive and all, 
the, the way we have lost the, the life over there as well. But yeah, we could manage um, from that hard time to to now. Uh, very hard to hear that. And uh, having said that, uh, have you been heard anything from your ancestor uh, during their journey? Mm -hmm. yes, the journey has took some. I mean, took longer days, correct? From yeah. Tibet to mm -hmm. uh, uh, Masuri, yeah. wherever they had came. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how was the journey? Have you I mean, been the journey seen? was really hard. So. I mean, what they were suggesting, and they were not suggesting, of course, but they, are, but they were telling me is um, when they fled Tibet, I mean, they have got nothing apart from what they have won on that particular day. So they came all the way from there, and whatever whatever they could take along with them, that's the only survival uh, survival thing. So they, when they came to India, so they keep on selling those, you know, like um, our people would love to wear like, you know, the stones and everything, you know, coal, turquoise and everything. So back then, those, those, those stones are being considered as like a, a precious thing. And, and even uh, those are precious ones, but whatever they have on in your they are like, you know, like as kind of necklace and everything, they keep on selling them just to have like bread and butter. To survive. Yeah, just to survive. So those were the time and, and of course I said like the climate, weather and everything, those were challenging and so on, just uh, just as to survive, we have got no any Indian currency. Even back then in Tibet, um, when we were occupied, yes, like we have our national currency, but uh, it wasn't, you know, um, so how should I say, like our, our uh, place, it's more like a remote kind of thing. So we used to live still in like battering system, you know. Okay. You you just give me the beat, I'll give you something like cotton and everything, whatever I can give you. So those were the things. So it was a hard time for them to survive. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And even uh, we are there in the Tibet Museum. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also got to know that how the hard time they had been. Mm -hmm. Uh, so having said that, um, what about the current days and in future, uh, do you see any probabilities to uh, get debate free or anything? Well, I mean, we are hoping for the best, right? Uh, he, at least like at, at sooner or later, in fact, our His Holiness always keep on you know uh, struggling for the for, to get the freedom and of course like these days like not not even these days it's almost like uh, a couple of decades now i guess if, um, if i'm not mistaken his holiness is is, is asking for like uh, autonomous region not complete uh, uh, independent country yes of course we know that china has got so much uh, involvement in tibet now uh, in terms of you know economy so they would definitely not leave like the bad um, at any cost. So His Holiness has suggested the, the middle, middle, you know, the, 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 the common interest in between the two two nations. I would say the two nations. Yes, we are like a nation back then before the Chinese invasion. So what they said is like, okay, you can you can um, live with us, you know, just give us like our autonomy, like whatever we would feel like to do. I mean, the, the, the outer part, like the, the, the international affairs and, you know, those things, you just handle it. Let us live in our country with our own, you know, um, the things like whatever we would like to. So give us a religious freedom and, and, and everything and let us run. In fact, like we are running an exile uh, government. So this has been, the, the, those, uh, that name has been changed or that nomenclature has been changed to like administration now. So we call it as central to that administration rather than government. Because, uh, yeah, uh, there can be no government within a government. So we are living in India. So India itself is a government. So we cannot have like another government. So like we, ourselves considered, and of course like our, the, the, the 
officials they have considered as like you know we call it as an administration so central tibetan administration yeah so when we have been there in cta central tibetan administration we also felt the same mm -hmm. and also macleod gonch where we were currently staying mm -hmm. which is also called a mm -hmm. little lhasa yeah. so how do you find that though it cannot be compared with the lhasa but when it is called as little lhasa mm -hmm. and we have also felt like this mm -hmm. Um, so how do you find that your capital it's calling in the different country India and that uh, opportunity is also I mean it's provided yes. so how do you find this? Yeah. Well see um, the little Hassa when it, it is the story back in 2019 sorry 1960s when when his holiness have moved first to the Missouri to Missouri you know and then he moved to Dharamsala. For us, I mean, where his holiness lives, we consider it as a Lhasa. I mean, it's, Lhasa is just a place. I mean, the, the, the one who lives there, we consider that that, that person as more precious. So, even um, the residential of that Lhasa, you know, I mean, sorry, the McLeod Ganj, his holiness, particular his Namgyal Manasri and his residence, that, that is more you know, like uh, the Lhasa which we have there in Tibet. Okay. The, the Lhasa, the, the Lhasa, and in, in the middle of that, we have the, the Potala Palace. At all. So that Potala Palace has been um, uh, built on a rocky mountain. So we call it as like the elephant, uh, a sleeping elephant kind of thing. So we also believe like that the, 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 the Mithrod Ganj Hill is, looks quite similar to that particular hill uh, in, in, in Lhasa. So the, uh, his, his own residential has also been built in that uh, hill. So yeah, it is more like a Lhasa. Great. Yeah. Really yeah. great to hear that. Thank you. Yeah. First of all, thank you so much. Uh, nothing to say. We have uh, learned many things and got to hear many things we, which we I didn't know. Yeah. And guys, one more thing, uh, nothing to say, great food. He uh, has been pro in Tibet uh, cuisine along with, uh, there are many types of Indian cuisine as well. Uh, so we had a different type of uh, Tibetan cuisine here. And his hospitality while staying in McLeod Lodge has been outstanding. So I always recommend to stay at a Reading Cafe and Homestay to get the actual feelings of staying in Little Lhasa. Thank you so much and thanks you. Thank you once again.